Hello everyone, it's Charlton. Please subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell. I'd appreciate it majorly. So, um, you know, I was following the news of Ghislaine Maxwell, uh, her, I guess it's arraignment and bail hearing were today by video conference she appeared with one of her attorneys, I believe she has a team of four pretty high profile, uh, you know, uh, powerful attorneys representing, I believe Michael Cohen or Cohen, uh, I think it's Michael, I can't remember, was the individual representing her today, you know, and uh, the prosecutors were from the US, uh, the Southern District of New York, Comey's daughter was there, I think Mo, uh, I forget the woman's first name, uh, did the most of the talking for on, 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 on behalf of the, the federal government. So, um, but she was denied bail. Peanut, get over here. Peanut sees me talking, so he thinks he can sneak out, definitely. He's very smart. She was denied bail, and um, you know, that's pretty significant for sure. What I was, what I found unusual, and I'm sure it's not, I'm not, I'm just not a lawyer, is that the, uh, the trial was tentatively scheduled for July 12th, 2021. So she's been denied bail and the, her hearing, which the judge said she expected to last about three weeks is basically a full year from now. So she's going to sit in prison for an entire year unless something else changes, unless her legal team is able to come up with some other legal maneuver to make another stab at getting bail. Um, but she was denied, denied bail. And her hearing is set for tentatively or scheduled for July 12th. 2021 that's pretty remarkable she's sitting in the uh, metropolitan detention center which is not the same as the mcc the metropolitan Cor correctional center where epstein was being held before um you know while he waited for his trial that never came because he reportedly allegedly killed himself and whether or not he killed himself or was murdered you know many speculate you know some people say he's not even dead but whatever um so she's going to sit in jail. She was reportedly, you know, in a black, a brown T-shirt and um, distressed during the trial. She only spoke when she was asked uh, to put forth her plea, which she pled not guilty to, you know, and um, various circumstances un uh, under which she was arrested were revealed during the bail hearing. You know, uh, the prosecutors had said some things to, to illustrate that she was definitely a flight risk. Um, you know, various things that she had posed as a journalist or the spouse of some uh, British, British, British person uh, who was either was posing as British military or uh, was in fact a uh, retired British military that was supposedly going to be writing a book and she was pretending, uh, posing as his wife when they were shopping for the home where she was arrested, the place called Tucked Away, the million dollar home that was bought, I believe in... Uh, February of this year or December of 2019, one of the two that was bought for all cash by an LLC. But initially when she approached the realtor, they posed, she posed as the journalist or the wife of somebody who was writing a, a book, you know, but the prosecutors, cause she has citizenship in three different countries, United States, Britain, and um, France, which is the big one, you know, um, because in France they do not they do not expedite their citizens and she's a citizen not she doesn't just have a passport but she has citizenship in France uh, they do not do not expedite their uh, not expedite ex, expedite is it expedite it is expedite um, they're citizens for uh, for criminal cases so like that's uh, what's his name that director who lives there to this day I believe uh, the guy who directed Chinatown Polanski. Anyways, so, you know, they cited that as a flight risk, you know, um, and when she was arrested, they said she didn't, you know, she refused to unlock, open the door. They had to bar barrel down the, 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 the gate entrance to the property and also had to break into the front door. The agents described being able to see her from a window, basically retreating from the front door and into another room where they eventually caught up with her. You know, they, they also found her cell phone wrapped in tinfoil, which they basically described as a, you know, f uh, f a feeble attempt to uh, avoid being detected by authorities, even though I don't think that necessarily would work. That's almost like the tinfoil on the head thing. 
you know. But her attorney actually said that she was doing that to preserve evidence because her phone was being attacked. Her attorney claimed that her her front door was a lot unlocked and that they, he disputed the claims by the by the uh, by the authorities during her you know during her arrest. Peanut, get over here. So, um, you know, she she had her defense team had had uh, proposed $5 million bail, was putting up a $3.75 million home, I believe that's in Britain, that I believe is not even owned by her, and had offered six other unnamed persons to sign off on her bail. You know, the prosecutor said she had um, uh, $10 million in assets, which included $4 million in cash in a Swiss bank account. So that just, you know, more, uh, you know, more, more information that basically said she was a huge flight risk the judge totally agreed you know she she said being that um you know she has citizenship in two other countries you know and um uh inciting other factors the judge denied her bail i mean it's pretty remarkable that she's going to sit in uh sit in jail for an entire year until her hearing which will be after the election my previous video i had made you know i had made um made note that the U.S. Attorney Jeffrey Berman had re uh, resigned about a week before her arrest and that that was there was no that's not a an accident and I'm sure that it's not but you know now I don't know you know who knows who the hell knows man but she's going to uh she's been denied bail she's, she's being charged on a number of different charges she's basically being accused of procuring you know and grooming underage girls for specifically for Jeffrey Epstein you know for his, for his, um and actually even participating in the, some of the sexual abuse but also luring them in and using various tactics to um to to do that but not 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 necessarily uh, uh anybody else at this stage at least you know the prosecutor said actually you know other people have come forward since she's been uh, arrested and detained. Three persons are listed on the, uh, I guess, on the affidavit or the indictment. One of which I believe testified today and and, and wanted herself to be named. I think her name was Annie Farmer. There was, and she spoke in court as well as um, uh, you know there was another person who had their statement who was identified as Jane Doe, read by the prosecutor Mo, you know, to basically again. Uh, pressing for uh, her her bail to be denied which it was you know and uh, so it's pretty crazy and that's uh, you know like uh, but you know like the the various uh, charges that she's been um, you know charged with in terms of uh, enticement to get underage girls to engage in illegal sex acts something like that and then conspiracy to entice uh, underage girls to engage in uh, underage sex acts and um, you know transporting underage girls to engage in uh, uh, underage uh, illegal sex acts and, and, very, and things of that nature but and they were difficult to memorize even though I tried to and that's the story there man thanks for watching my videos please subscribe to my channel give me a like down below I'll see you in the next video. Later, man.